The timeless story Les Miserables has captured hearts all around the world and will soon make its return to Denver. Our Dylan Thomas went to Chicago to get an exclusive look at what it takes to put on a legendary show. We are on the set of Les Miserables here in Chicago with exclusive access behind the scenes to see what goes into such an amazing production. Les Mis has been selling out theaters around the world for decades. But for the first time, you're getting an exclusive look behind the scenes of this legendary performance. From the wig department beneath the stage. Every detail is important. To the back of the theater for sound check. Number nine, check it out, number nine. The amazing cast and crew of Les Mis gave us exclusive access to see the secrets of bringing a set to life. So here we are, it's one hour before showtime here at Les Miserables. The crews come in, they've done all their pre-checks, checking all the details for today's performance to make sure our matinee goes off perfectly. Jack McLeod is the stage manager for Les Mis, the conductor of sorts for countless moving parts. Every single performance is different here. Much of the set is automated, while other parts are assembled and moved by stagehands. The set must evolve much like the characters and storyline. This 32 by 30 foot square is about to show 30 years of a man's life. We start the show on a ship and we end the show um, in the very small room at Jean Valjean's home. Traveling towers are guided by tracks in the stage. Fog machines and speakers are hidden as well. It has speakers built into it so that an individual instrument can be piped right into a speaker so an actor laying on the stage could hear their pitch if they're thrown on the floor. Backstage, the crew handles thousands of costumes, ironing out every detail for every show, something even actresses continue to be in awe of every time. It's hard not to deny that it's a feat that they pull off in such a way every night, every performance. Three, four, boom, boom, and we're off to the races. Victor Hugo wrote Les Mis in 1862. He was known for his writing, but few know he also drew the designs of how he envisioned much of the tale. Our set designer has used chalk drawings, paintings of Victor Hugo's in the projections and in the design. Drops coming in downstage. Be it your first time or your fifth, seeing Les Mis always promises to be an experience, one which you can now see with even greater respect for those working magic behind the scenes. This performance in this night in your city is the absolute very best it can be. The news will arrive at the Buell Theater in Denver May 10th through the 21st. In Chicago, I'm Dylan Thomas.